application has a section where a user has a biography. However, what biography would be complete without their picture? So today we're going to look at using the Refile Gem and uploading pictures for the user and have it displayed in line with their profile. Unlike Paperclip, Dragonfly, or Carrier Wave, the Refile Gem automatically and in real time will compress and resize your images. So you need to make sure that you're using some sort of CDN as this could create extra CPU cycles on your web servers. To get started, we'll add the refile gem to our gem file. Then we'll also add the gem refile mini magic. Mini magic will use the image magic libraries to do the compressions. Now, one thing you'll need to do also is you'll need to install image magic on your server or your development machine. If you're running OS X, you can simply type brew install image magic, and this is dependent on the brew package. If you're on Ubuntu or another Linux uh, Debian based flavor, you do sudo at get install image magic. So next we'll want to create a migration where we're adding the profile image ID to our users table. Then let's migrate our database. Next step is to come into our user model and then we'll add the attachment profile image. Notice we did not add in the underscore ID like in our database migration, but instead we are just calling in the profile image. Since we know that we're only going to be passing in images here, we can reference a type and a image and that way it'll do some validations to make sure that the file uploaded is an image. We can then go into the form view here. And then we can add the f.attachment field profile image. The attachment field is a helper provided by the refile gem. And of course, don't forget to come down to your controller and with your strong params, add in the profile image. Then within the show page, we can add in a image tag with a helper method provided by the refile gem, where you pass in the object, the attribute, the method that you want to use for resizing or uh, how you want to crop the image, and then the width and height, and you can specify the format. So back in our application, we can now choose a file. We can select our image, upload it, and then you should see it rendered in the page. In our next episode, we'll be discussing how to enable refile to work with progress bars and automatically uploading the files once they are selected. We will then discuss in another episode how to protect the uploads with authorization. So files cannot just be downloaded by anyone, but the proper authorization must be there for that user in order to download the files.